not me trying to film and yet there's people that pulled in next to me looking at me like I'm a crazy woman <laughs> Welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today, friends, I'm out here actually running to my errands and I am near a Joanne, so I thought I'd pop in and see if they have any Halloween. I've been seeing so many people finding it at their Joanne, so I was like, let's go. I'm getting some groceries, might as well get some Halloween. We got Oliver here joining us as always. So he's all excited. He's been going crazy getting excited for all the Halloween. So hopefully we find some. Also wearing, I'll show you my shirt I'm wearing, but this is the H07S Headless Horseman shirt. That was flattering angle. I'll show you when we get out of the car. Let's go in. I'm hopeful they aren't playing music so I can do like a actual walkthrough and talk as I'm going through stuff. But if they're playing music, I'll do a voiceover. Either way, um, fingers crossed we find some stuff. Let's go. So, uh, yes, there was music playing. So, voiceover it is, friends. First thing we see when we get in there, they have basically like the target jack lantern. This one does light up, but Lord, $120. I don't know what uh, Joanne's peeps are smoking, but absolutely not. Um, they have, again, the whole boneyard. This kind of thing they usually do every year. The different skeletons, mermaid skeletons, skulls dragons, you know, snakes, all the creatures um, in the boneyard are present and overpriced. Uh, <laughs> and then they also do have uh, just a little bit of a, a fall selection as well. Okay, so this skull right here, I love this. I actually got this a couple years ago, but I got it on clearance. So they have it priced right now at $60. I'm pretty sure I got it on clearance for like maybe 10. So I would say hold off on these. They're not gonna sell. They will have some at the end of the season. Um, they do have some really fun doormats. I did like some of these, like this haunted house one was really cool and I liked this jack-o'-lantern one as well. If I can maybe get those at a good price, I might grab one of those for inside the house because we need a couple indoor doormats. Um, this ghost one was really cute. I, I was just kind of chuckling and sore. I think I was also just geeking out because I was like, holy crap. Oh, also this ghost container. I don't know why I didn't focus on it more, but um, I think it's really cute, but it does not have a seal. So if you wanted to use it for cookies or holding something, it doesn't have like a seal on the inside of it. It just, the top sits on it. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, this witch hat, y'all, $50 for this outdoor pick. I, I don't even understand. Um, even on clearance, that sucker's still gonna be like, more than it should should be okay the eek i got something very similar to this a couple years ago at five below for five dollars i think mine said boo or something so maybe hold off on that see if five below has any this year because it's definitely gonna be better than what you're gonna pay at joanne's and then all the lights which i feel like we find at target usually better prices i hate to be crabbing on joanne's but y'all these prices are just i don't know millionaires are supposed to be shopping here because for us regular peeps i don't understand they did have all of the uh, party wear and stuff. They did have some fun designs, but again, like a vinyl tablecloth, I think it was like 10 something. Usually Target has those for like $5 during Halloween season. So I don't know. I liked this cauldron. Uh, it was $60. So even with a good coupon, I'm still gonna be paying way too much. So I'm gonna hold off. I'm hoping I'll find it at clearance at the end of the year. I liked this little glass jar. It kind of goes for the whole Victorian vibe I'm going for, but it was like $25. So I'm going to try and find something at the thrift store similar to it for like three bucks. <laughs> but it's really pretty. I mean, I guess if you can afford any of this or, you know, it's it's something that's a holy grail item for you, go for it. I'm not trying to crap on you and what you want. But just for me personally, it's a little much. This mirror, I'm so sad. I would actually came in really wanting this. I didn't know there was going to be that wispy greatness because it really just looks like dry erase markers. They got smudged all over it and somebody didn't clean it. I don't know for me it's just it's not the vibe I'm kind of sad about it because I was really looking forward to like a welcome coffee mirror but I passed on it just I couldn't get over the the gray wispy smokeness I don't know maybe it goes with the design but for me it just wasn't it they had some more cauldrons um those apples actually on the right are they light up I think none of the little testers worked for me but they have them 
they have a couple of the witchy um like outdoorsy things they do have this little rug there's also another one um they'll show in a second that's like a red to maroonish black ombre um i did like this welcome witches sign i don't remember how much this one was but i I don't know where I put this in my house. My husband probably think I'm crazy. I'm sure he does anyway. But I really did like it. <laughs> um, moon mirrors that they kind of always have. Here's some of the pillows of this line. Um, they're just kind of men. Nothing super spectacular for me. Nothing really that stood out that felt super different. Um, then we start to get to some of the like the bigger outdoor signs. I did like that witch back there, but I. I think I looked at the price. She was going to be still quite expensive, even on sale. I think she was normally 75 or something. They have the little willow stuff they always have, the cauldrons, witch hats. Um, that was it for the decor. Now, they had some candles, and it feels like they're going for Bath and Body Works here, like in the whole three wick style. I don't know why I didn't smell any of these, especially that kettle corn one. Um, but they're, they're kind of going for the whole spooky candle vibe. These, I think. I think we're $24.99 so definitely Bath and Body Works prices um, but again I don't know why I didn't smell anything to give you an idea of you know if it's worth it okay oh the fabric y'all okay this bat one I love this I thought this was so pretty but it's a cotton and I just wasn't quite sure what I would do with these I feel like these would be great if you're a quilter or if you do a lot of um, sewing for clothes that's a little bit more fitted I'm not great at that kind of stuff I tend to do jerseys but there were some gorgeous fabrics we're gonna go through the bit all the fabric so don't worry I'm, I'm showing you guys like there was so much cute fabric I really did like this like batik bat fabric but again, I was like, what What do I do with this? I don't know. And it wasn't enough on sale for me to, to grab it just in case. Um, but it was really cute. I loved this Bones one because I'm pretty sure that green glows in the dark, which would be super cute for like a shirt or something. And then they had oh, some vintage witchy ladies. And I loved that spider web fabric as well. And then if you think, oh, that's all of it. Oh, no. There's a whole other section of just cotton stuff. So if you're a quilter especially, they have got you guys covered. Because um, there's some so many cute items. If you don't quilt but you use this cotton, comment below. Let me know. What do you use it for? Because like this branchy fabric, I love this. But I'm trying to figure out other than like, maybe pillowcases or covers for throw pillows what I would do with this fabric I'm not great at like fitted clothing but I would maybe be interested in trying it because some of the stuff is just absolutely gorgeous I really loved a lot of these designs there is an orange and black stripe one I'll show you in a second this was so cool I really love it you know I love a whole striped moment so that was that was just so much fun they had a little bit of fall peeked in with it. Ooh, this one. It was like holographic metallic -y. Like, you know, it was very shimmery. And they had oh, this owl fabric, which was so pretty. Um, there's just so much. I, I was just geeking out. This made me almost more happy than the decorations. I don't know why, because I think it maybe gets to that crafting soul in me. And it reminds me of as a kid, like all the crafts we used to do. Like this. Oh, that gives me like... Beetlejuice Goosebumps vibes, you know? I love it. Okay, the flannel and nursery fabric. Oh, Y'all, this, I love this orange with jack-o'-lanterns, and I liked the owl one right there. I've used some fabric like this to do pillowcases for, like, our bedroom, because they're super soft, but if maybe if you have, if you're expecting a little one, or if you have friends that are, you can make little blankets for them, like baby blankets. I've done that in the past as well. Um, some really cute items. The fleece fabric, they had this on sale. I really love this black and white spider web fabric. You don't usually see a lot of just straight black and white, so that was cool. That jack o' lantern one you've seen me actually make a blanket with before. I like that other jack o' lantern one. And I saw this, I don't know, it was um, butterfly, and then right next to it, I was like, oh, what's this? Like branches with moons. Let me look at it. And then everything was all stuck in together. And I see a wing, and I start geeking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is it? And then, yes. It's bats, friends. Oh my gosh. Yep, I did absolutely put that in the car um, because I was going to make something with it. They got to the like the pop fashion of Errol. I love this stuff. I use some of these. I know they're kind of more, I don't know, childish designs, but I really like them for like dresses or just comfier clothes because I love a knit fabric or a jersey even. So these are great for making like really easy dresses and they're very comfortable. So those are kind of my go-to and I really, I don't know, I like the designs. I think they're very fun and playful. 
Okay, and then now we get to floral. They only had a small section out. That bat garland, I actually got a couple years ago on clearance. So maybe hold off, unless you really, really need it. Um, I liked these crows. They were like $17, though, and even with, you know, a discount, it was still too much. Um, they had a, a smaller section of, like, little bushes and picks and whatnot, and a couple wreaths. They like that bat wreath, but that's it for now as far as the floral. Friends, I got so excited going inside, I didn't even show you the outfit. So here we go. The Headless Horseman shirt, HO7S. And I did, I got me the bat fabric. It's a spiderweb fabric. I'm so excited. So there we go, friends. That is what we have at Joanne so far. I will say, one thing I'm disappointed in is I've seen people who are finding um, Halloween in their Joanne that they have this whole bat line. It's kind of the bat line, honestly, from last year with a little bit of extra stuff in it. And I'm sad I didn't see any of that here. I also didn't see any of the storage boxes, so I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. I'm wondering if the ones that have the bat decor at their location, if it's just extras rolled over from last year, it's not necessarily new items that are being produced, like a whole new line this year. So we'll see, I'm gonna keep an eye out for it because that's honestly the one decor line I was really excited for. Also that coffin mirror that said welcome, I'm really disappointed that it had that smokiness in it because like I said in the voiceover, it looked more just like marker smears or just like somebody didn't clean it all the way. I wish it was just a mirror that just said welcome and it was in a coffin shape. So I'm kind of sad, so I'm, I'm passing on that. The only other thing I was looking for really were some of the bat pieces. Um, so I didn't get any decor. I did get um, some spiderweb fleece fabric and a bat fleece fabric. Um, I'm gonna make like a double-sided blanket instead of doing like the bat with like a solid on the, the back side. I'm gonna do one side spiderweb, one side bat, so I can do it like, it's like a reversible blanket. I've not done one of those like that. It's just one of those um, no-sew blankets. I did a video last, I think October for Vlogoween or maybe even did it in November to kind of help people get ready for Christmas and like gift ideas. It was a whole like no sew blanket tutorial. So I'm just going to do that same thing with this, um, but I'm excited to have a double sided option. So yeah, that is going to be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully maybe you're starting to see a little bit of Halloween in your area. This may be the last decor hunt I'm able to film for a while. I am having surgery July 10th and they let me know um, I have restriction like this left arm. I can't raise above my shoulder for six weeks. I can't lift more than 10 pounds for six weeks. I may be also on driving restrictions. So we'll see if I have to go anywhere. Maybe Craig has to take us. So we'll see. Um, but I'm probably hopefully going to be trying to do some stuff at home. Maybe some crafting or I don't know, maybe some makeup videos. That would be a fun opportunity to do that. So um, if you have any fun ideas, love things you'd like to see me do that are at home options, leave them down in the comments. I would definitely love to hear your ideas of what you guys would love to see. Maybe even some cooking stuff. But again, I have to be careful because I can't lift too much. But anyway, I'm just excited we saw Halloween and Joanne. This is so cool. Um, my next big store that I'm really looking for is Michael's. And whew, anyway, that's a whole other thing. Um, I'm not even going to get into it. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, it helps people find this video and, and help grow our spooky community here. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Uh, I'm trying to do at least one video a week, maybe two as we get further into Halloween decor hunting season. Um, that really depends on my health and how things are. Either way, you definitely don't want to miss out. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Oh, one last thing. For all of you that stayed here this long, you get to see my new fun sunglasses. I am so excited for this. <laughs> this is gonna be the thumbnail so if you didn't watch this far uh, well for the people that didn't watch this far it's gonna be really confusing like hey where do those glasses come from they came from the end of the video for all you cool peeps that stayed long enough look at this oh my gosh bat sunglasses we have some cat eye sunglasses no we have some bat eye sunglasses <laughs> I'm so here for this I got these from Killstar about a month Maybe two months ago, I've had a little while, but I'm so excited. These are going to be our Halloween Jigger hunting glasses, and I'm ready for it. Anyway, if you stay here long enough, definitely let me know down in the comments what you think of the glasses. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are doing wonderful, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!